Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you to the first episode of Let's Play Mega Man X 8. This is also going to be a test, well this is more of a test recording than an actual episode, so we'll see. So uh, anyway, I decided to go ahead and try this one, because like I said, I needed to test it anyway to see if it would work. And another reason is because, uh, well, some of my friends have been asking me, you know, to go ahead and do this one since it's really hard and they needed some help with this. So, I figured this was the best way to get it done. Alright, we're starting on normal. And so far, so good. I'm using fraps at the moment. The endless Reploid rebellions continue. Humans, however, have begun migrations to the moon, thanks to new technology. This plan is called the Jacob Project, and an orbital elevator was built as part of it. Highly advanced new generation Reploids have been brought to the moon's surface to work. So far, so good. I don't detect any lag yet. Speaking of fraps, I finally did get it to work with my EPSXE, but... This is X. I've encountered an accident while on patrol of the orbital elevator. Dispatch rescue mechanoloids immediately. But, uh... It lags the crap out of the emulator for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. But I have hypercam for the Gaia now, and that should prove to be to solve my problems. We'll see. from damage during the accident we had to copy a sturdy sigma body good to know new generation reploids enjoy complete and total immunity to all viruses so even copying something as dangerous as sigma provides no risk who are you i'm luminous I'm the director in charge of the elevator and of the Jacob project. Well. Oh wow, did we already encounter a boss? What's going on? Oh, no, it's Alia. Maverick readings near the Jacob facility. All hunters near Point Galapagos, please dispatch immediately. Roger. All right, let's go. Now, you might have heard me say this before, but I thought Mega Man X8 was one of the better ones. It it was pretty good, I thought. It's it's very hard. It's it's very hard. It's fun though at times, but the the challenge rating is it's pretty obnoxious at times if you uh well, not obnoxious. I mean, it's not I want to be the guy hard by any means, but it's fairly hard. I mean, it's it's like old school Mega Man in terms of its difficulty, uh, to say the least. It definitely makes up for the failure that was X5 and X7. Not to say those games were bad, they just weren't very good. I liked them, though, and I might actually do a, you know an LP on them eventually. Now, the only real problem I have with the PC version of this game are the load times are crazy, uh, crazy long, as you're seeing here. Oh, it shouldn't be taking this long. Something's wrong. There it goes. Ready. All right. X, 
this new Maverick. Its pattern is very unusual. I'd like to do some research on it, so try to pick up plenty of samples. Got it. Okay, Axel. Let's get go. Ready when you are, X. When you All right, let's Axel's go. Help, <laughs> Better watch out, X. I might just steal your spotlight. You two be careful. I'll send Zero over later to give you a hand. Whoa, Zero. All right, I don't detect any lag at all now. So it looks like Fraps is the answer to X8. I figured it might have been. There we go. Die. Oh, now we get to fight this big guy. X, Axel, I've examined the data on that Maverick. Looks like it grabs its opponents and immobilizes them. If you're grabbed by the enemy, call for a tag assist and help is on the way. All right, for this guy, you just want to do that. Uh, you just want to use your mega charge or your X Buster, fully charged, and him in the head. That will temporarily stun him, and then just launch another full charge shot, and he's gone. Whoop! When you see him launch his claw, just jump behind him. Anyway, uh, if you want to do a character change, you just got to hit the button that you uh, set it to. In which case, mine is L mine is L2, as if I was playing with a PS2 controller, which I happen to be. But I mean, if I was playing. The PS2 version, it would be L2, I think. I can't remember. I'd like to start analyzing it right away. Bring it to me as soon as you can. Roger, I'm on my way. Axel, I'm counting on you to clean up here. No problem, X. This will be a snap. All right, Axel. Whoa, hey, no, 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 no. Pick up all the medals you can, because they will be useful later on. Anyway, all Alia was going to tell us there is how to dash, which is something I already know how to do. Or, I'm sorry, how to hover. It's basically the exact same way you did it with X's ultimate armor and X4. You just jump X, hit X in midair, and there you go. Well, hit your jump button in midair, I should say. Dang it. Ah, oh, crap. I really hate this part. Yes, energy. And there's more energy right here. Yeah. That's how we do things here. Now, for this section, uh, you just want to stand in the corner and just spray your bullets up and down like this. Well, yeah, like a, so you're shooting in a fan. Now, you see those little blue bullets that are randomly shooting out of Ax Axel's gun? What those are, are their uh, armor-shattering bullets. Like, if you come across an enemy that's using a shield, Axel, that bullet there will break their shield temporarily. For zero, it's his third slash, and for X, it's a fully charged shot. This is no time to slack off. You show up late and have the nerve to complain? I can more than handle a few Mavericks all by myself. That's the spirit. Let's move. Tell me out. All right, guys. Um, we're not even at the halfway point in this level just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Plus, I need to see how it recorded anyway, and uh, we will be right back. Join us for the second half of this stage. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.